Hey guys, just wanted to show you a quick tip today on how to use LFO tool to not do your typical side chaining to the base, which I think is what everybody tends to think about or tends to use it, but how to create groove and variation in loops. So we got a super boring hi-hat loop here, or not a hi-hat, a tambourine. And let's just go ahead and flip LFO tool on. I got a little triangle here. We listen to that in context off and on. So you can see it's already gives us that same kind of pumping effect, but just a little bit different. Now you can affect the depth of it. You know, you can have it real dra dramatic at 100%. You can also affect the overall depth here if you want to control all these at the same time. I like it a little bit more subtle, especially with a tambourine. Kind of gives it a little more vibe. Now what, what really starts making uh, cool variations is A, obviously, you know, change, you can change the shape. You can draw your own shape, you know, which, 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 you know, you can get some cool results of, especially since you can see the waveform in LFO tool, it's kind of nice. And you know, depending on what rate you have, these grids are different note values. So I think it's, I think it's 16th notes at, uh, at the quarter note grid. But then what's interesting is when you can start uh, affecting the phase, which allows you to take that pattern you get different accents and different little mutes and swings to it by adjusting the phase also by adjusting the, the pulse width and then of course by you know adjusting the rate Let's use a more conventional shape, not this weird one that I've drawn. It's giving us clicks here. And then we haven't even uh, opened up. You can add, people also forget there's, there's tons, tons of awesome filters inside LFO tool. So, you know, if we add uh, a filter and now come up here and can mess with the filter. Anyway, I, I hope that's enough to get your uh, creative juices flowing here. You know, great way to uh, change up a bunch of stock loops that you're using, put your own little flare on them. And then when you, the other thing you could really do, um, I've made a macro inside Ableton, but you can do this even without the macro is to, to automate these, automate these parameters over time, give you a lot of uh, really cool variation. So hope you took something away from that. If you're watching this over on Instagram, check out my link in the bio over to my link tree, hit up my YouTube channel to watch more videos. And all y'all watching this on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you got any other cool ideas or tips related to this or things that I haven't considered. I'd love to see a comment down in the notes to uh, share that with the community. Hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.